Hi, I'm Jeff and welcome to my shop. In this video, I'm going to be using the new vacuum chamber that I just finished uh, making, uh, largely for this purpose. So I'll put a link to that video up here. And what we're going to be doing is I have a whole bunch of materials here that I'm going to be cutting up and stabilizing in resin. So over here I have this uh, thermally cured uh, resin, specifically for stabilizing wood. It's called cactus juice. Uh, there's another one called stick fast that I understand is fairly similar, but I'm using this. Uh, I have a couple of things to work with. So my son got this really remarkable uh, maple burl uh, that we're going to stabilize. I found this super weird little burl in my parents' uh, neighborhood. So I'm going to stabilize that. I'll probably cut it. I'm thinking about embedding that in resin later uh, for pen blanks, etc. And I have some of this uh, spalted birch from a friend's tree that I collected about two and a half years ago. It has just some just really remarkable sort of color through it. Um, spalting is the beginning of the rotting process and basically the, the bacteria um, and fungi leave these trails behind where they were, but it's sort of soft and punky. Um, this piece weighs hardly anything at all. Uh, at some points as I'm going through this, I'll probably weigh before and after adding the resin, but I really want to take advantage of that really cool looking colors and patterns. And I'm going to be cutting up blanks for making Japanese style knife handles. Uh, my son really appreciates the Japanese knife style. He's been making some of those. Um, I'm going to do some traditional Western knife scales. I'm probably going to have some turning blanks for making pens and a couple of other turning projects. So uh, I've got a bunch of material to work with here. I've got some dimensions I'm going to cut them to, but I'm going to start small. These will go in the oven to dry, to, to drive out all the moisture before they get in here. The vacuum gets pulled to pull the resin into all the pores. That then goes and gets heated uh, to polymerize it and set it up. So please enjoy. Um, Certainly, if you like this, there's other folks who have done similar videos that are, are excellent, good learning sources, but please enjoy and thank you for watching. Okay, so I have all these pieces rough cut for, uh, for stabilizing. Most of these I'm gonna reduce the length uh, so that they fit in jars uh, to make it practical. But these are the first two I'm gonna try sort of as my experiment. Uh, before I can infuse them with resin, I have to dry them. Uh, so before I do that, I'm actually going to throw them on my little balance here. This one is 59 grams. And this one is 36 grams. So. If you were to pick these up, they weigh nothing. Um, it's really surprising how light they are. It's going to be interesting to see once they've been infused with resin, they're probably going to be multiples of that weight. So let me take these guys and throw them in the drying oven. All right, let's activate this cactus juice. I got the activator here. Presumably it's a catalyst of some flavor. That all gets poured in there. All right, we should be ready to rock. All right, so these guys are now out of the drying oven after multiple cycles, so let's weigh them again. The smaller one is now 32 grams. And the bigger one is now 52 grams. So these are dry, um, certainly dry enough. These are right out of the, the oven at 250 and they don't feel hot, so I don't think there's much moisture left in there. So these are ready to stabilize. So I'm gonna do one clear and one red. I haven't figured out which one yet. Um, I'm gonna do those in these containers. 
So I'm going to put them in the containers. Figure out a good way to weight them down. And then um, fill with resin and go from there. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this big guy. I'll do this one with a clear. It's not the most efficient container ever. I need something a little smaller. I'll figure out a way to weight that down. In the meantime, I'm going to fill this container. Try some of this Alumalite red dye. Just a couple drops to start, see what that looks like. From this valve, turn on the vacuum and see what happens here. I don't want it to froth over, but I want it to get you know as deep a vacuum as I can to get all that air pulled out. And I just need to be patient. All right, so these guys have been under vacuum for almost two, well, a little over two days. So I'm gonna release the vacuum. Take this lid off. So the next step is these guys are going to, oh, they, they no longer float. See that, how they sink? So I'm gonna get most of the cactus juice resin off of this surface, cause that's just gonna make a mess once I heat cure it in the next step. Get off that excess. I'm gonna wrap this in aluminum foil. We'll see how this red guy looks. It's also sinking, which is positive. I don't know how well that shows on camera, but I think that's gonna look super cool. The red and that spalting. Now the instructions say these are to go for 200 degrees for two to three hours. I think these parts are sort of on the thick side, so I think I'm gonna target three hours. So let's go throw them in the oven. Okay, these are still a little warm, but I'm excited to see what we have here. Let's unpeel these guys. Uh, there we go. So that looks very cool. And check this out. It is hard for sure.
All right, so let me work on this a little more off camera and then we'll take it to the sander and work on cleaning it up. So that brings us to the end of this video. So about two weeks or so, I was going back and forth, drying pieces out while pieces were under vacuum, uh, letting the vacuum off, wrapping them in foil, heat curing them. Uh, I managed to get an awful lot done. So, you know, I started with that big giant piles of wood. Now I have all these pieces that have been stabilized. This is that beautiful burl I did for my son. These are the two pieces that I did on camera. So you saw they're about three and a half times their initial weight, even after losing some of the volume. And listen to this. You could almost shove your thumb through this. It was so soft initially, but now these things are just super, super hard. And I think they're gonna make extraordinary work pieces. So I'm pretty excited about that. So most of this is probably gonna end up on the lathe. Um, this is gonna be Japanese style knife handle. Some of these will be Western style knife scales. Probably some pieces will end up in pens. Uh, my guess is most of this will end up on the lathe. I got a couple pieces of uh, bird's eye maple here that I think will make gorgeous knife scales. So uh, pretty excited. I used up almost the entire gallon. I, I wanted to do this all at once because once you mix that, it starts to cure and it's expensive. So I didn't want to have a lot of loss, but I hope you enjoyed watching, uh, maybe learn something and uh, maybe it'll inspire you to go out and make something on your own. But watch for these things showing up in future videos. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to click the buttons down below to subscribe, to hit the notification bell, to get indication of my future videos that come out every Friday. Thanks for watching.